it are or pronounced on every pony. This is Brony Dad. It's not original, but hey, you try coming on the originalities. <laughs> well, folks, here we are. We knew it was happening. We accepted it was happening. But we weren't prepared for it. <sighs> because season nine of MLP has started. The final season of Friendship is Magic. Oh, Christ. How am I going to be with the finale? Oh. Well, we've still got a full season before the inevitable happens, so let's just take a look at the beginning of the end. Oh, Christ, they're not hiding it! We open on the main six being summoned by the princesses. Equestria is currently enjoying its longest period of harmony in recent years. And it's all thanks to you, Twilight. Yes, it really has been a solid... week. So, after much consideration, my sister and I have decided it is time for us to retire. Huh? Quite unfortunate. You're retiring? Princesses can retire? Well, technically no, Spike. The term retirement doesn't really exist in the monarchy. It's more that she's abdicating the throne, which was originally started back in the Roman Empire when... <laughs> of course we can. Oh, never mind then. You and they have decided that Twilight will be their successor. And I am perfectly happy with this, and I'll explain why at the end. Shouldn't there be some sort of training program that lasts weeks, no, months, if not years? Everything you've gone through over the years has been a training program. Yes! Yes! To all of those who have ever complained about Celestia and not doing anything whenever there's a crisis, they have officially confirmed what we have believed to be the truth since Season 3. <laughs> However, Twilight, as usual, freaks out at this revelation, but her friends manage to calm her down. But this is a big deal. What do we do if something big happens and the princesses aren't there to help? Um, if you think about it, they literally almost never help. God, I love it when the show points out its own foibles. But unfortunately, something begins to summon the show's major villains. Chrysalis, T-Rex, and even King Sombra is brought back to life. Oh, and Cozy Glow as well. Yay. But who could have done this? It was I. You may call me Grogar. Hmm. Oh, I am so glad that this piece of shit got retcons. Starswell, you're a bigger asshole here than you were in the... <laughs> Yo! Hey, Zion. Um, do you think... Maybe you could tell me a little bit about Grogar? Grogar? What do I know about Grogar? Hmm... What does the old school pony reviewer know? Just hold on a moment. Uh, let's see, Grogar, Grogar... Um, wait, that's the memory of the witch? No, that's not her. Bees in the forgettable? Definitely not. Squirk. Box for that. Ah, here we go! Grogar! Once the ruler of the city of Tambalon, after his failed attempt of capturing Ponyland, Grogar, his minions, and his entire city were sent away to the Realm of Darkness, never to be seen again. But 500 years later, with the help of his magic bell, he returned to Ponyland to get his revenge. And if you'd like to learn a little more about Grogar, you can check out my Return of Tambalon review that I did. So what you're saying is he's quite high up in the food chain of MLP villains. Yes. You do not want to fu- Zion? Zion? Well, guess that's that then. So, yeah, Grogar in this version is similar to his G1 counterpart, and now he wants to set up his own Legion of Doom in order to take over Equestria. But Sombra's like, fuck you, I do my own shit, and proceeds to take back control of the Crystal Empire. And admittedly, much easier than he did the last time. The crystal heart now in my possession. There is nothing to stop me from ruling the crystal empire. 
But wait, hang on. Wasn't it the Crystal Heart that was keeping Sombra away from the Crystal Empire in the first place? Well, it doesn't matter. Just so we can use Sombra, go full scar. Long live the king. Last time we defeated Sombra with the Crystal Heart. What if he has it already? What do you mean, we? If I remember correctly, Spike was the one who saved the Crystal Empire with the Crystal Heart. You guys just stood around like a bunch of lemons. Well, wouldn't that be a cool twist? Sombra is just back to get revenge on Spike. Well, whatever. They get the elements of harmony from the Tree of Harmony and confront Sombra. Nothing can defeat your own fears. We didn't need to defeat them. We just needed to face them long enough to distract you. Oh, well, that was... stupidly easy. I mean, I know we often joked about how Sombra was kind of a shit villain, but you would think the staff would rectify that and... Okay, I take it back. Shit just got real. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at the stupidity of people who still think Series 11 of Doctor Who was actually competent. <laughs> oh, Whitaker was so shit. So, yeah, Sombra certainly gained a few points now as a villain as he proceeds to possess every pony in Ponyville and is able to take over Cantalot. Though, I feel like something's missing. With the Tree of Harmony gone, the Everfree Forest could grow out of control and threaten the town! <gasps> That's it! For our friends. For, for our, our families. For our home! For Equestria! Equestria! But unfortunately, not even the hose of friendship. Wow, that did not come out right. Are enough to deal with these weeds, but fortunately, Celestia and Luna arrive to help with Star Swirl. Star Swirl, the Tree of Harmony, it's... I know. I alerted the princesses as soon as I could. I felt it when it happened. Like part of my essence just ceased to be. So what, was the Tree of Harmony a Horcrux then? Well, with the help of the princesses, Twilight and her friends managed to get into Cantalot and into the castle. Oh my, no elements, no princesses? Seems like you're in a bit of a pickle. Or are you in more of a jam? Oh yeah, Discord's in this episode as well. I haven't really mentioned him since, well, all he's done this episode is his usual thing of testing Twilight's confidence and patience. Well, at least now he decides to get involved. I'm lactose intolerant! So they get into the throne room and... Oh, what are you doing? Fuck the Iron Throne! I am making the Iron Room! All those who impose me shall be impaled around me as a warning! Joffrey never thought of that shit, did he? So Discord effortlessly fends off against Sombra, but when Sombra takes a shot at Fluttershy... Well, Discord gives the whole, the elements were inside you all along, which we already knew from the season 4 premiere, as they square up again against Sombra. No! This can't be possible! I destroyed the source of your power! You can't destroy our friendship, Sombra. And we keep telling bad guys. But y'all just don't seem to remember. Friendship is magic! Oh, that's why they call it that. Whoa, -ho, that looked gruesome. Maybe not as much as Toffee in Star vs. the Forces of Evil, but a bit of raw gum flesh? Whew! 
That's not nice. So Sombra's defeated as everything goes back to normal. I know what you're gonna say. I should have called on you as soon as I knew how dangerous it was. A good leader knows when to ask for help, and I didn't. And because of me, the Tree of Harmony was destroyed. Equestria deserves some pony much better than me as its leader. A good leader knows when to ask for help, but a great leader has the courage to admit when they've made a mistake. Yeah, it's a shame no one in government can admit to that. So Celestia and Luna decide to give Twilight more time to prepare herself to rule, just as the three remaining villains decide to team up with Grogar in order to take over Equestria. <laughs> so, the beginning of the end. This is possibly the best opening to a season we've ever had. I mean, I know I poked a few holes in it, like repeating situations we've already had, but seriously, I was on the edge of my seat for this. The stakes this time felt quite high, especially with the growing threat of having to deal with so many villains later on under the command of a new, threatening villain. Sombra, I feel, got handled much better than in his first appearance, though I'm still a bit unsure about his voice. I know some people are annoyed at how Twilight is just going to be taken over from Celestia and Luna, but I'm completely fine with this because that was always the plan! Lauren Faust always said her original goal for the series was to have Twilight eventually succeed the princesses, and since this will be the final season, it's good to know they're honouring her wish. Overall, this has got me hyped to see what we'll be getting in this last hurrah for My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. This is Brony Dan saying... Nostar, Season 9 has officially started.